We've learned all the basics, now it's time to step it up a notch. That's right, if you're swimming in the ocean, the lake, the river, your bathtub, your kitchen sink, you need one thing, survival, survival skills. skills. At the What Now Swim School. And here are our teams. Remember, they're all aiming to join the 200 metre club by swimming 200 metres confidently and continuously. Today's challenge, Jim, survival. So let's get everyone in the water. Let's get ready to ripple! And waiting in the water for them today is coach Leanne Stocks from Jelly Park Swim Club. She learned all of her survival skills from her son's pet chicken, <laughs> Lightning, who lays blue eggs, and of course, her granddad, who's 100 years old. Whoa, go granddad! <laughs> And hanging poolside with me today is Chris Palmer from Pioneer Swim Club. He learned survival from watching Man vs Wild and doesn't want anyone to know his nickname is Baldy. Hi, Baldy. Okay, guys, we're talking survival today, so what do you do if you get in trouble in the water? Now, these guys are switched on. What do you mean? They haven't even answered any questions yet. They're just raising their hands. <laughs> yes, that's the right answer. When you're in trouble, Raise your arms straight up like this. Don't wave it, just in case somebody thinks you're waving at them. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I knew that. Yeah, you did. Right, nice one, guys. If you do get stuck in the water, you need to be able to float. And a flotation aid is the best thing. Did she say ball? Yep, and the bigger the better. Hey kid, catch! Okay guys, so you might want to find out the best way to use your floating aid. On your front or on your back? Experiment a bit and see if you can find the best way to hold it. Make sure you lift your feet up from the ground. The idea of a flotation device is to get you to safety. But what if you don't have a flotation device? Oh! Yes, Ronnie? No. You ask for help. That's one thing you could do. Anything else? Oh, uh, float by yourself. Or? Tread water. Brilliant. That's exactly right. OK, guys, let's go deeper and practice our treading water. Hey, guys. I've suddenly noticed that I'm wearing pants and I've got uh, shoes on. Yeah, Ronnie, that's because we thought you'd be perfect for this uh, next demo. Oh, cool. What's that then? What to do when you find yourself in deep water with shoes and clothes on. That's easy. Tread water, raise your hand, find your way to the edge of the pool. That's not all. You've got to take your shoes off. This is so oh. <laughs> Don't really need to get wet for that, do we? Ooh. Now what he needs to do is kick his shoes off, right. take his pants off. If you can, take them off. If you can't, leave them on. for awesome effort, Ronnie, but not quite as awesome as today's most valued swimmer. And our MVS today is... Isla, she's a survivor, she's a survivor. Isla did really well today. She found a great way to use a flotation aid and the treating water was absolutely brilliant. Woohoo, I love swimming, that was so much fun. Hey Isla, it's time to create some fire. Foamy fire that is, oh yeah. Thanks for joining us at the What Now Swim School, where everyone's aiming to join the 200 metre club. And we want you to join too. Just check out the website, register, and we'll help you on the way to achieving your 200 metre club passport. And be in to win too. Every week there's a Swim for Life goodie bag up for grabs. And you'll also be in to win the grand prize of a family weekend in Hanma Springs. Including return flights for the family, a cool juicy rentals van, two nights in a three-bedroom apartment at the Village Lake Apartments. Nice. A jet boat quad bike adventure with Thrill Seekers Adventures. Dinner at Isabel's Restaurant at the Heritage. And passes to enjoy the water slides, Super Bowl and thermal pools all in Hanma Springs. So spring into action. Go to whatnow.tv and sign up for the 200 metre club. Be, be in to swim, swim and to win. win.